Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to play a sound in your apps. So already on my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Playing a Sound for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first things we need to do is import our sound file and import the audio toolbox um, framework. So we did a um, framework first, so if we just drop down the menu here, link binary with libraries, press the plus symbol and simply type in audio and we want to add the audio toolbox dot framework. So just add that. Once you've done that we can add our sound file which I have on the desktop here. I'll just turn the volume up for you and we play it. Simple sound there. So we just drag that and into our projects. Make sure it's a .wav file, as that's one of the best formats to use for playing sounds on the iPhone. So finish once you've added it in your project. And once you've done that, if we go to our viewcontroller.xib, where we we'll add the button we're going to press to play the sound. So if we just drag it in. Make it nice and wide so it looks presentable. I'll simply give it tight there, press me. And once you've done that, if you click the button here to split the views, and just after the UI view controller, press space, bracket, and enter. Now, right click or control click on the button and drag it to our action section. Select action, and on the arguments there, press none and change it to button, well name it button, simple anything else you would like. And once you've done that, press enter. That should create our connection. So we go to our single view in our viewcontroller.m. It's created our connection here at the bottom. But before that we need to go into our viewcontroller.h and import our framework. So we do hashtag import and get rid of the two quotation marks and do the more than and less than symbol and we need to add the audio to, um, toolbox dash no, forward slash audio toolbox dot h once we've done that in our outlet section we need to create a outlet so it's for our system sound so we do system sound id space and just simply name it sound id and that would be a semicolon then in our viewcontroller.m in the view did load section, now that we've created our system sound ID, we need to add well to load our sound or even our view did load into our outlet for our button to play. So what we do is nsurl space asterisk and I'll name it button so button URL space equals space bracket nsurl space file with path and then we'll do in the highlighted section bracket bracket ns bundle space main bundle and after the first bracket we do space and then do path for resource and in the first highlighted section do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in between there we'll put the name of our sound file which in my case is sound and in the highlighted section of of the of type we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and then we do the file extension of our sound file which in my case again is a wav so after the two after that we do two brackets and a semicolon we do hit enter and then we do audio services create sound system services create sound system so in the first light section we do bracket underscore underscore bridge and in the type here we do cf url ref and then in the expression here we do the name of our nsurl which was button url and then after the comma there we do the and symbol 
and then the um, name of our system sound, which we originally named it Sound ID, and then we end it with a bracket and a semicolon. And then once we've created our initial R for our sound file to play, all we simply need to do now in our button is tell it that we need to play that sound basically. So we do audio services play system sound. So audio services play system sound. And in the highlight section here of the system sound ID, we just simply type in the system sound ID which we did name it sound ID and then once you've done that after the bracket there we end with a semicolon and that's simply all we need to do for our button to play sound so once you've loaded, it, loaded the uh, sound file within the view did load it's ready to play so all we need to do now is play the sound by with our button so if we go to build and run now in the simulator and show you what we have created so once it loads up all we do is press the button and it plays our sound so play as much as you like and we'll get a bit annoying but anyway that's simply how you play sounds in your projects or apps so I hope this tutorial helps in any of your projects or apps you're creating at the moment Make sure you subscribe and make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geek11. And most of all, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.